At Atlas Tool and Die in Lyons, Illinois, workers are baffled by state lawmakers. Why take it out on us? I mean, we're probably making it now as it is. Tough question. One state senator was overcome early Wednesday before the vote to increase taxes 66 percent. But Governor Pat Quinn, a Democrat, said it had to be done. We have an emergency, a fiscal emergency. To close a deficit of $15 billion, personal income taxes here are rising from the current 3 percent to 5 percent. Really? Really? Is that really how we're going to solve the state budget? In Chicago, the Wolford family expects to pay one to two thousand dollars more in taxes. Corporate rates go from 4.8 to 7 percent. That could cost Atlas Tool and Die fifty thousand dollars a year. That's one employee. That's another piece of equipment. That's a payment on a machine there. That could be used to make us more competitive. His company is considering a move to Indiana, whose governor recently poked fun at Illinois. It's like living next door to the Simpsons, you know, the dysfunctional family down the block. I mean, <laughs> Wisconsin and New Jersey are both telling Illinois companies move here, yet both have higher tax rates. In fact, Illinois' corporate taxes rank in the middle nationwide, while breaks and loopholes permit two-thirds of businesses to avoid them. For individuals, the hike in income taxes, again in the middle of the pack, will be balanced by a cut in the federal payroll tax for Social Security. But raising taxes in an anemic recovery is a risk. You run the risk that you could retard growth in the state. And even these new higher tax rates will not be enough to close Illinois' budget deficit. So the growth of government spending will have to be capped at 2% over the next four years. But that means less money for schools, for hospitals, and for law enforcement. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.